Welcome in. Welcome. Hello. Very rare Saturday stream. Does the screen look really bright to you? Hang on. Seems way brighter than normal. What's going on? Okay, hang on a second. That seems really bright. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Hi everyone. Hang on. Filters. Very clear. Like, is it too clear? Maybe there. I think that that looks better to me. Or natural. <clears throat> I'll leave it there. Hello, bonus stream. Yes. Yes, indeed. Hello. Normally don't stream today, but streaming today. Okay. So let's have a look who's here then. Uh, we have Mr. Wigglybot, Pretzel Rocks, uh, Mr. Wiggly, Void the Nothing, Fossabot is here, Kamiko, Manpreet, and Aradawa. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. All right. Uh, so we were doing this. I was talking about yesterday maybe doing a different pack, but uh, or maybe even doing a different game. I had a little look at the Outer Worlds today. That looks like it could be okay, but um, but I wasn't 100% sure, so I didn't bother. Anyway, <clears throat> right. Let's uh, let's make some machines. All right. So we're gonna start by making building gadget. Done. That should be charging. Yep, it is because we got the wireless charger. Uh, exchange gadget and destruction gadget. Start making those. Oh, hey, fancy seeing me, low. Hi. Oh, what am I missing? Iron. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Iron. I. There you go. Iron. That'll help. Make those into these, and then we can make the exchanging gadget. And then we can make the destruction gadget. There you go. So they are all charged. None of these are charging. So the wireless charger is currently empty. So I need to get power to the wireless charger. Why was that full before? Oh, hang on. Is this the one that we were doing the... The wrench on. No, we were wrenching that thing. Okay, uh... Pipe. Energy pipe. That's not filling up yet, okay. Uh, then we need the... Whoop, pipe. The wrench. On the pipes mod. So how is everyone? So it's enabled. Okay. Do we need the smart wrench? Got home from work. I'm doing all right. A disappointing Chinese food for dinner, which is Disappointing because we had disappointing um, Subway yesterday Why Does, does the wireless charger need wireless charging as well? I have a funny feeling, right? If I set the side of this to output, and then I take this, I place it here. I feel like that is charging. Yeah, see, that's running out. This is charging. Okay, so that, that works. So this will continually send power into this thing, which is running out. That's outputting faster than this is generating. But that's okay. That was not expensive to make. All right. That'll do for now. Um, so I think we're gonna have to make steel and stuff. So let's make a metallurgic confuser. 
Uh, fuse, I don't know. <clears throat> right, so I need to make one more furnace. One times metallurgic infuser. Done! Merlisha! How you doing? Good morning to you. Right. Oh, that's interesting. Even this is getting power while it's in my hand. Hey, Wario. Put them away. I'm not going to use them. Uh, put those away. I think we're going to need some more energy pipe. H. Potter's here too. Hey, H. Potter. How you doing? We need more iron. So let's... Lily's here too. Hi, Lily. Right, we're going to make a stack of irons. How ironic, don't you think? Uh, so we're going to run a power cable around to here. Are we? Do we have an Xnet? We do have Xnet. Maybe it's time for us to make some Xnet stuff. Let's make an Xnet setup again. Good old Xnet, hey? Let's make Xnet. Alright, so machine frame means we've got to go blue die, two blue die. Uh, and machine frame. Oh, I haven't got enough iron. Now I do. Alright, uh, you, sir. Make that. There we go, machine frame. Uh, then we want to. Uh, we can remove those. Uh, then we want to do. This fella. That fella, one of these fellas, that should be enough now. Here we go, Xnet controller, done. So the Xnet controller can live there. Um, so I need to connect that to, say this. Give it up, integrated dynamics. You can't win. Alright, so that should power this. That doesn't power this. Okay, so we don't have any Xnet cables. So let's make some red connectorbs. Oh, hang on. Remember we found that whole field full of poppies? Now's the time. We have to go back and uh, do that. Xnet. Xnet. -er. Let's do this fella. Two of these. In behind the wall we go. We're going to have to dig out here. Hello? Why hello there. Uh, that and that. So this, can we say that this is, or that, that is energy, create, this is withdraw, and this is insert. <clears throat> now that won't work because this doesn't have power in it. But maybe it does now. No. No, it still doesn't. Um, okay, because we have to run power across and into this thing anyway, into the battery. That's not a massive deal. I'm gonna bring the powered diamond anvil down. Like that. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna power that with Xnet. I believe the integrated dynamics battery cannot power connecting blocks other than its own mod blocks. Yeah, so I think it should... I think it should work this way. But it won't... The controller won't work until the controller's got power in it first. When did Minecraft get complicated? Eh, it's not that complicated. It's a little complicated. Yeah, so I've got to jumpstart this fella. 
collecting quite a bit today because playing Nomi Factory. Nomi Factory? Sounds delicious. Enjoy Nomi Factory. Unit or only you? I, I would say that's only you. Everybody else seems to be okay. Like Deadshot could hear me just a second ago. Can't hear the sounds. Can you hear me? Because I did have an issue earlier. You can hear, I think it's just you. You can hear, and you can hear the, like, the Minecraft sounds. Hear all audio. Thank you. Okay, so, um, I need to charge that. Game you and music. Perfect. Perfect audio, all good. Thank you, Kimiko. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to remove the wireless charger. Get that to output. Put that there. Okay, so that's filling up. You can hear me and the game sound. Thank you, everyone. So, Manpreet, I don't know what's going on, dude. It's something at your end. Am I growing trees like that? Okay, so we have these things. Th these are bonsai pots. And the bonsai pot will grow a tree inside of it. And because I have a stone axe in here, it will automatically break the tree when it gets to full size. And then it will deposit it down into the thing underneath. You muted the Twitch tab. That, that'd that do it, man. Pre that, that'd that do it. Um, yeah, so it automatically is harvesting these trees as they as they grow. These ones here are full already. We got plenty of spare sticks left over. This one's probably mostly full. And we just got a whole line of them down here just growing. Growing merrily away. Merrily growing. And we'll just let them just sit like that. Um, this generator. I might end up moving the generator all the way over to here. Yeah, so what's happening is the oak is being taken from here and put into here automatically, which is powering this machine, power cell, low. The power cell then powers the wireless charger. The wireless charger is powering things that I hold in my hand. Uh, now it doesn't want to charge the XNet controller. Because that would have already been powered by now. So that means it won't, like if I run an energy pipe from here, let's just do this as an example, I think Deadshot is right, and this won't do anything. Will that do anything? No, because this thing is still getting charged. All right, sending power. Okay, so now we're getting power into this machine. I should now be able to remove those. Ooh. And this is powering down now. So it's not extracting from that. Even with Xnet, it's not extracting from that. Stop fighting integrated dynamics. Cannot win. Okay, so I guess that means then that uh, this guy has to live here. But how was I charging the thing when it was in the roof there before? Because that was running off of there. It's 
by Wiggly Stream. It's me. It's me, Samsung. Okay, so it will... It will extract using pipes. But is it extracting from there or from there? So let's disconnect that. Already full. Oh, it's going back down. Now it's staying up. Okay, so it does charge off of that. Just doesn't do it through the Xnet connector. And why is it using power now? It's not even doing anything. Once it's got some power, just use the pipes of Xnet itself to power without additional cable. Yeah, but... But the Xnet cable won't connect to this. I, I tried to connect Xnet directly to the battery and then put that into here so that we had power. Because I was the idea was to run power from the generator into the battery, but over there. But now we might have to run it the opposite way around. Power cell low. Extract. Insert. Okay, so that works. But man, that's using a lot of power and a short amount of time. Hey, <clears throat> wireless charger. Let's put that in down here with Xnet. And that's going to be on insert as well. I need to get power now into the power cell. So, oh, my suggestion for doing that then would be to get, instead of using this exclusively for power, um, we could run something down here, because this is going to get stuck if we go down that way anyway. We'd have to go behind the wall. Not that that's a bad thing. If we went here, then we would just need to make some sort of power gen. And plug it into this guy. Okay, so there was a power gen, um, West line in here. Energy. Thermoelectric. So we need to make steel that we're starting on that with the metallurgy confuser over here. Hang on. Maybe we'll get something lucky. Maybe not. Hot mom senpai. Thank you for the raid. Welcome! Sounds like a job for heat generators, I think you're right. Hello, hot mom! How are you? How was your stream today? Bit of Valorant! Ooh. A bit of Valorant, I see. How am I? I'm doing, I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright. Not been streaming long. I picked up a log from somewhere. Not 100% sure where I got that from. Oh, I know because I've got block reach turned on. How was how was your stream, Hot Bomb? What'd you get up to in Valorant? How how was your scores? Greenstone Brick Tower, Moon Dash, and a Trophy Pedestal on the Twilight Forest. Score's bad, but you had fun. That's the main thing. 
This is not breaking. Oh, I know. That's because that's a, um... That's a Twilight Forest-like thing that, that you used to activate. That's, uh... That's kind of annoying. We might have to fix that by just straight up removing it. Slime ball. Okay, so we're trying to figure this dude out, right? I gotta get power into... Wait! we're back welcome in you like my accent thank you um i do get that a bit yeah <clears throat> from time to time i do get that so but yeah welcome welcome raiders um i think we're gonna have to come in from underneath that anyway let's have a look at how hard is it for us to make constantin i think we need to make that in the Okay, we need we need nickel and copper. Okay, let's have a look at. I know we have some nickel, but not enough. Copper and fire charges. What fire charges? Fire charges. So if I did that, it gets me four, and I think I need five for each one. Plus, we need steel. Ay ay ay. I tell you what, that we need a connector for that. Okay. So be it, Jedi. I'm gonna um just gonna run a cable down here. So that is filling up. That's going down. That is filling up from that. Okay, so we can run that into that machine, which will then power XNet. It's not exactly the way that I was hoping to do that, but... Uh, it's working. It's working. Anyway, welcome in, Raiders. We're playing a mod pack called The Quests of Mirrors. Whoops. <clears throat> and, uh... Today, we're, we're going to have to be working on power. Normally, we wouldn't stream today as well. Um, so this is all... Unusual. Cruel and unusable punishment. Alright, so we'll leave that. That's tidy enough for now. Today's bonus stream is true. Okay, so this generator is not fast enough to keep that powered and XNet powered at the same time. Or is it? We'll, we'll see once this fills up properly. It's not far from doing. I have that apple juice. Uh, but we do need, anyway, we do need some nickel, right? We've got a little bit of nickel. Not enough. Or is it? Hang on, there's a quest to get nickel. Okay, so we're going to go back to the starting quest. That's gold and silver. Did we do the nickel quest? 
No, it's here. Okay, so it's that sort of differently. It's this one. So we're going to switch this around. We're going to go the other way. This way. And can we do that? We can. Okay, so that gets us to 49. So we've got to go and hunt down some nickel. But we can't get too much nickel. Because we know what happens when we get too much nickel. I'll put some of that nickel back. Oh! Thanks, Deadshot. Just checking to see if he was still, still around. How efficient. I didn't even have to finish the joke. What do we have over here? We got osmium. Oh, whoops. I accidentally mined the wrong thing. Whoops. Uh, that's a bit of lead there. Get that lead out. Uh, the leggings that I have on have massive amounts of block reach. Oh. Mind the wrong thing. Where are you? There he is. Alright, I got him. It's taken care of everyone. Um, the Crimsite. What is this? It's too far away for me to even identify what it is. That's sulfur. That is nitre. I don't think we've picked up any nitre yet. Tin's not going to hurt to grab some tin. There's probably a quest for that. Bit of that business there. Some Hey, some silver ore. Hey. There's a quest to get silver. It's day 65. That oh, was it. Dude, you're a mile away. Calm down, bro. Ow! Alright. Good luck, man, Preet. Enjoy your game. But, but also good luck. Thank you for the lurk. Right, I think it's not cool that that guy can just sit over there and attack me and I can't get anywhere near him. So let's resolve that by getting near him. Uh, right. What else we got down here? That's more sulfur. I'll take that. That's more lead. I'll take that. Did we get the lead? There was a quest to get lead. I can't remember if we got it or not. Nitre ore, osmium. I think we definitely didn't get enough silver, right? We've got only a tiny little bit of silver. So we'll go back to that one. Uh, but I believe somewhere over here is um, a way down into our digging area. It's not like there's not an abundance of ores. You know, there's ores everywhere. You 
just we just need to be able to get to them. Let me look up uh, silk fur, silver, and look up the ore itself. Okay, so it does tell us. So the best spot for silver is between minus thirteen. It's between 30 and minus 13, about minus 6. Hi, Z-Ball. <clears throat> right, so we're going to get to minus 6. That's going to be our best return. So let's do that. On your new tablet. What kind of tablet did you get? Silver. Android tablet. Is it um like a brand name one or anything or just just an Android tablet? Sure. I recently got a um, <clears throat> Samsung tablet. It's um, it's probably too big. The screen's the screen's a bit big. An Alcatel Joy Tab Two. Alcatel. You know they made tablets. Alright, it's time to go down into the mine, and we want to go to about minus six-ish. <clears throat> Which is not all the way to the bottom, it's on the way to the bottom, and all the way to the bottom. Let's check out the, the gobba as we go past it. Can we mine it now with this pickaxe? We probably can't. No. Still no. So we're going to minus six-ish, so around this height here is where we should find... Silver. Hi ho, silver. Uh, yeah. Around here. So, let's start digging small square. Like a lifeline tablet that has data. Is it? Off Wi-Fi once a month and you have free data. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Lead again, right? Yeah, that's lead. Have to get some of that lead out. Be a phone company. They get free data just for having the tablet. It's pretty cool. Hey, whoa. Oh, I found a little room. None of it particularly uh, useful, but it's full of things. Or lead. Experience berries. I will hold on to those because I have a funny feeling I can probably plant them.
All right. Journey continue. That silver or osmium? Copper or iron? Slate Jade, or were you Prosperity? Or were you then? Um, so not really getting anything out of this. Oh, hang on, we came down here looking for nickel. Um, what height do we find nickel at? So, nickel is quite deep, all the way up to 25, so we could find it around where we are. No mining drills? I, I don't normally do stuff like that, but there are mining drills. I could, like, I could make a create mining drill. Thermal drills in here. But, yeah, normally I don't bother. This is the mining part of Minecraft. Got to keep an eye on the durability of that pickaxe. Don't want to lose it. It's a really good one. Not good enough to mine gobber, but it's really good. Really, really good. Uh, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we're going to spend some time a little bit later on um, getting into the um, into the nether. Hey, Taliona. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, going going back into the nether and um, trying to hook ourselves up with some um, some netherite so that we can get finally through. Uh, finally start mining some gobba. Torches do I have? I got four more torches. I think I just saw a a generator there too. One, two, four. Right, more prosperity. Osmium. This is silver. What the? What 
What is that noise? I think I see some more silver up here. Oh, there he is. Hello. Yeah, come on up. Thanks, buddy. All right. Tells me a minute. So is that. Okay, so there's lots and lots of gobber here. There's not a lot of silver, although that's silver. Parity. Osmium. Plenty of iron. That's tin. Not, not massively worried about tin at this stage, unless... I've got nickel and bauxite. Gold and silver. Yeah, wow. Hi there, Cappy. Oh, we're up to 62 silver. Okay, so silver is okay. Um, so that means then we need gold. So how's... How do we find gold? That'll be... Minus 15. We are currently at level 1, so we're going to go deeper. Food... the quest book chapters I mean there's there's only a couple of chapters Dragon Rider, how's things? Yeah, look at the gobbers everywhere, man. I think we just left this area. Could be better. It's not good. Chin up. I missed. More osmium. I need to go down more. What, what, like, I keep climbing up. I'm trying to go down further into the mines. But ah! I'll see you later. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, yeah, hello. Skeleton girl. Oakley Doakley, what is that? That's lapis, we'll take that. Auto enchant crafting. I don't actually know how to, um, yeah, I need the raw ores. I don't know how to see what these upgrades are actually doing. And we're going back up again, but there's some in.
Oops. Not worried about prosperity. Still just trying to go down. I will take this. Is that not the silver quest? Oh, it's the other kind of silver. That's right. How do I jump so high? As as you do just things in this pack, like walking around and stuff, um, you level up certain abilities. Uh, and one of the early abilities that I got was the um, was a high jump ability. Hi sub. I guess you know why I'm here today. Nothing else to do. Hickenel. Ah, uh, sub. Also, looks like looks like uh, your thing was correct. Your fix. I think I think I wasn't there when it happened, but I, there was an, another train, and uh, and I believe that uh, the information was being captured correctly. Need to need to wait for one more train just to confirm it because uh, there were two things firing at once, so that makes it not a hundred percent sure. But I think it was working. Okay, I don't know where I am now. I've gotten completely lost. So let's go back to the top and we'll start again. So we want to get down to about minus twenty-five. Of course, it was just wasn't a hundred percent on Minbar. Yeah, so it looks like Minbar was probably wrong. That's the one that was firing at the same time, so um, we just change that one back and have a look at it. And um, I, the, the guess would be if that one doesn't fire, but the other one does, then we've then we've done the right thing. Oh, I didn't bring any torches. Whoops. Uh, sticks, though. We've got tons of sticks. Tons of sticks and coal. Tons of coal. Now we have four stacks of these. Able to see the first variable at least. It looks that way, yes. <clears throat> like it was saying um, that he had passed that level. Hey, Dagon Mist. So that, that to me, that's a pretty good sign. Pretty, pretty good sign that we caught it. Well, you caught it. Oh, hello. Wow. Block reach, eh? I have no idea how far I was actually placing blocks just then. How you doing, Dagon? Missed you well. Good, and me, I am also, well, five, six, nine, ten. Okay, so that was coming from up there. Wherever you are. Wherever you are, but her. Wow, look at where that's coming from. Crazy how they should do that.
Right, well, no gold though. So let's move down a little bit. How's our durability looking? 838, that's alright. Still plenty. food, right? Hello, creepy girl. Check. I got block reach, so I was wondering if that includes punch reach. Uh, apparently it does not. Okay, well, let's go over this way. And now I'm finding silver ore everywhere. Uh, one, two... wrong oh I see I see what I did or what I didn't do makes sense now well I mean there's no gold here <clears throat> So we want deep slate gold ore or just gold ore. So gold ore, it should be hitting at about minus 16. And we are currently standing at minus 27. That may be why. I went down too far. So about here. So if we were to look in this here area. Okay. <clears throat> we'll, we'll do that. But right, but before we do anything else, let's recharge our gear. Experience berries. I'm gonna see if we can plant these anywhere first. Nope, just trying to eat it. Hang off something? No. Uh, are there any uses for it? I can make it into fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Compost it. 32 of them make six compost in a compost barrel. I don't know that they do anything. Right, Bacchus, Pacchus, Magicus. Right, now, let's look at the silver area. We need to make this kind of silver. So, we do that by... Is it, is it this way? Yes. There we go. So that's our silver collected. Now we just got to do the gold. Uh, I have 34 raw gold. We definitely need to get more gold. Um, but. And real. Like that hole. 
Um, I would like to make a facade, please. Oh, this is not connected to JEI. We're going to do a facade. <clears throat> Integrated dynamics facade. Xnet facade. Okay, so then we want to do Xnet red connector. And let's make some red network cable. And we'll get downstairs. And over to you, sir. Yep, that's where that was meant to go. There we go. Okay, that took way longer than it should. Uh, you, you're going to be an insert power. So there you go, that's power inserted. And we'll repair that. So we should... Okay, yep, that's sending power out. I think that I saw that we had a cold generator in here. I don't 100% know... If this does that need does it need coal it does need coal. it's not just any burnable thing it has to be coal uh is it just coal hang on or does charcoal work Charcoal does work. 60 RF a tick. Right, then we're going to go pipe grab the energy pipes and just to give this a little bit of extra punch we're gonna take oh we're not gonna take from under there at all no sir we'll do that though that hi there kitty oh look at the chunky cat Straight to the trees, eh? When you gotta go, you gotta go. <clears throat> okay, so the gold. Gold was at 16. This... Oh, we stopped charging it. And this isn't even turned on. Um, but, let's go back to Xnet. I would like to make an advanced red connector, which means we need a red connector, then an advanced one. Connect underneath. I'd be surprised if you get a lot of logs. Oh, I'm getting tons of logs out of those, yeah. Tons of them. Uh, but at the moment they're hooked up into this thing, so this is supplying this with logs, which is making power. It's possible to just make a whole, a whole bunch of these, maybe, like a ton of them, and have it all pumping energy into that one battery. Maybe I make like eight. If I made eight of them, you could have one with each different type of log in it. 
Uh, the Astropolis. What's what's different about it? This is the question that I would be putting to anyone that says, "Hey, this pack is really cool." Okay, what's what's different? What makes it cool? You know, this we we could keep this uh, in the asteroid belt. Well, starting in an asteroid belt is definitely different. Oh. All is to get back to Earth. Okay, right, now this is also insert, so that is getting power. Now we can make steel with that. So let's do that by doing this. Oh, this is 58. How did I get 58? Oh, because I took six of them out. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll do that. We'll let that run. Is like a fusion of Skyopolis 5 and Caveopolis. That's the that's the thing that I worry about with that pack. Is um some of this stuff does start to feel a little bit sort of samey. You know what I mean? Alright, so we're making enriched iron, and that'll get us making more stuff. We got... That's repaired, that's repaired. Those away. Same picture, different colours. Yeah, like... The, the speed that he churns them out, he's got to be passing stuff between different things, right? You would think? Maybe? Yeah, maybe it's just me. Totally new resource gem, but I don't know if you checked out Stone Block 3 and the Crystal Resource Gen, that's the main resource gen. I have I've watched other people play um, Stone Block 3. I haven't looked at it myself. Um But just just because there are so many people playing it. Right, ancient debris, where are we gonna find that? That is around Y14, and we're at 53. We're going to make a mining tunnel. Okay. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not there. Hey, Pug. Stone block tree it would be fun for me, but lags a lot. Zubby's doing stone block three, right? Hi Jake, yeah I'm live on a Saturday today. I, I got nothing to do today so I figured I'd go live. And here I- oh wow. Block reach. What the- ah uh, yeah I forgot about those things. Come up again pal. Um, we're still only at Y40. <clears throat> Gonna get to 14.
Yeah, I can honestly say I'm, I'm not used to block reach yet. In case that wasn't apparent yet. Okay, well, um, let's turn. Turn here. I must add, like, um, that one where you, um, like mouse tweaks. I must add mouse tweaks into it. Glowstone. We do need some more glowstone. How are you doing today, Jake? Nether crystals. Those would be uh, dimensional shards. Needs to be under the lava. Yeah, so I'm trying to find a big enough spot, Kamiko, where I can... Like, dig deeper down. I think this feels wide enough. Playing some Mario and now Destiny 2 with Tony. Oh. Well, maybe not here then. Let's, let's move further forwards. He missed. gonna get under the under the lava he might be a spot through here canal although I'm, I might have found one or, or, or maybe not someone was saying um, the other day in the Discord that uh, there, there may be in a future update the ability to make lava have the same properties as water so that you could make a um, like an infinite lava supply by you know two buckets of lava next to each other all right so I'm at 15 so let's go down two more the so 14 is where the 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 peak level is but now we're down at 13 so we're one below oh wow okay block reach It'll make a lot of things easier definitely especially if you're getting into um sky blocks where you uh where you generate a lot of resources i think i need to take these reach ants off and i accidentally blast through my whole pickaxe because, because my pants are giving me too much reach. Oh, hang on. Do I need to food? box already get infinite lava or very close to depending on if it has that ex nihilo or something that's similar that gives that's true yeah but like imagine having a some sort of powered machine that runs on lava um and being able like like a, a magmatic dynamo say and being able to just like leave it running as with a you know with a cyclic cable pointing into it and and then never needing to worry about power. Just make a whole bunch of them and just let it sit there passively just pouring out massive amounts of power. They'd, they'd have to tweak the... Um, they'd have to tweak the dynamo so that, that, that you can't do that. 
Yeah, or a flopper, yeah. Just just going nuts and just gushing out hundreds of barrels of um of lava. Right, like I feel like surely we should have found at least one by now, right? Let me let me just check this. Ancient debris. Why thirteen? The lava managen flower. Yeah, yeah. That's another one. So I imagine that's one when when Britannia for the next I guess it's a 119 update. Uh, when the next 119 update for Britannia comes out, I imagine that you'll find that that will be tweaked. Very rare. Isn't it like there's at least one per chunk, though? could have spawned in its place that's true that is true didn't consider that yeah but now I've, I've dug out this whole chunk at the right level what have I I haven't really have I Yeah, it could, it could be low, it could be higher. I could, I could have already dug it out and just um, not seen it. I could build something here too. Ooh, how are we looking? We're at 974, so that's not too bad. Yeah, ancient debris mining is annoying. And it, if I had more power, it'd be worth even making a digital miner. The chunk border method at that uh, I don't know what the chunk border method is so uh, it might be two blocks either side of the chunk border okay so we'll make a little a little hole out here basically what I'm doing just digging digging a hole around the outside of the chunk Okay, so I'm going to say not in this chunk. Moving into the next chunk. I thought that was some. A few more pickaxes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna repair this one. This one, this one's too good to, to lose. People 
apartment. They just mined four blocks wide, walking down the chunk borderline. Supposedly the best odds of finding one. Ten, so we still got plenty. Yeah, so it might be worth just going digital miner. Usually use beds to blow it all up. I saw you there. Yeah, the sudden appearance of the soul stone at the top there threw me off. I, I totally thought that would bounce him. Too many deaths doing that? Yeah. I guarantee I'd die doing that. Guarantee. Alright, I'm going to make it minor. This is going to take too long. I might put a void upgrade on there. Roll this stuff back in. Grab all of our netherrack out. All of it. We are unlikely to ever need more than eight stacks of netherrack. Right, repair that for me. Uh, and let's look at a digital miner. Uh huh. Has that always been that recipe, dude? Weak. Definitely been that recipe. Shows how long it's been since I've actually made one, I guess. Ah, it's Master Wiggy. Famous streamer. It's Kim and Jax. Our nemesis. How you doing, Kim? I gotta figure out figure out if there's a way that I can get um the, the enchants off the pants. Protection 3 and Unbreaking. Ooh, I think we might go Protection 3 and Unbreaking. I keep. I do like the step height, but I'm not a fan of the block reach. Fire Protection. I'm going to go Fire Protection. Illusion we'll Protection and Unbreaking. I'll we'll go Fire Protection. Hey! Kim's doing some CCI things and she found somebody watching a bit. well... In, in a video. There's me! There's me! I'm doing things! <clears throat> right, okay, so this is making steel dust, so that will be a little while. What's fancy going on Dorkland? Not... Arkland, if I spell that correctly. It's fame. Um, I don't know what's happening in Auckland.
this I'm just gonna break this right we're gonna go into creative mode so I can break that because I, I can't otherwise break it it's just sitting there um power generation do we have like power no but we do have mechanism um Deadshot's always telling us to make the fan, not the fan, the windmill. Oh. Hold. Wind generator. So we need energy tablets for that, which means infused alloy and basic control circuits. So realistically, we could do with another infuser. So let's do that. Let's make another infuser. Um, if anybody hasn't been by Kim's channel lately, she's making a adventure map, which is based on the game Stray, and it looks amazing. Gas burning generator for mech is probably the best early game, the gas burning generator. I, just, I need to make a crusher or pulverizer first. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, but gas. What what do you use for to power? Like what what gas goes in it? Ethylene. So I have to make ethylene. And spell it correctly. That would help. So ethylene, liquid ethylene. And we make that by condensing ethylene into liquid ethylene, apparently. Biofuel. The hydrogen and biofuel. Fuel, oil, hydrogen, biofuel. Nah. Um, but if we make the biofuel, I know we can get decent power out of the biofuel. Right, if we use that, we can put that into a power generator. Let's use hydrogen. Yeah, but that means I've got to, I've got to make so many other machines just to get down that line. I don't, I don't know that I would say that that's early game. Yeah, I ain't got time for that. That means I gotta do work? That's crazy. Any good progress today? Definitely. Kim is a very skilled and talented builder. Here's all the components of a nutritious breakfast. They're looking for a builder for a mod pack, asking for a friend. Um, is Aradawa still here? I know Aradawa is the one that was working on the pack. <clears throat> so, maybe. Maybe if Aradao's here, he might have something. Uh, Redstone does three stacks. I'll take one stack of these. And then Osmi oh, Osmium. 30. Let's do half of that. I, I came up with a new word, Kim. It's, um, frog recipes. I've, I've never found a situation where it fits, but 
Prog recipes. Um, what else can we do? Why do you need a cobblestone generator in an overworld game? I'm not sure about that. Pocket storage. Wow, two nether slides for that. They don't have to go mining. But like, I mean, I, like I haven't really gone mining. And I've already got, I've got 17 stacks of it just sitting here. And, and that's from not, not many, not many things. Not many things at all. Okay, so that's almost done. We realistically, probably need more redstone. Definitely need better power generation. We don't have power. Um, how hard is it is it to make a heat generator? So easy, so easy. I do need iron though. Uh, how many irons do I have? Twenty-four ingots. Yeah, so I've, I've started down the path of making a wind generator. That's, that's why we have all this stuff here. Now we'll start making some of these little round dudes. The little round dudes. Because we've got to make two energy tablets. So we need four, five, I need five infused alloys. Five only. There's two of them. <clears throat> Kim, do you need um do you need any hints and tips about CCI? You have questions? Hey Jeff. I had an idea just now. I think that I could make an automated setup where I take uh, logs out of here, put them into a furnace, which automatically puts them into the coal generator. That's the point. Which is can't input power from the bottom. Uh, if you use XNet, you can, but normally no. Yeah, an advanced XNet connector can do it. But otherwise, yeah, power has to be. Right, so we got those. That should be enough to build our wind generator. There you go. Wind generator. Generating wind. How is the wiggly? Doing all right. How are you, Jeff? Alright, so if we made a few of those, ideally they'd be way up high in the sky. But we we can make a few of those. And we can make a dimensional power cell thing. Feel free to um to ask any questions you have, Kim. I'm gonna put a burden on anyone. Eh, don't even think about it. Oh, I can't make these because I haven't got Prismarine. Alright, it's time to go on a Prismarine hunt. This way. Feel free, ask away, Kim. I'm happy to, um, I'm happy to assist. If I know what I'm doing, I'm happy to assist. It's not a burden. You know what's a burden? If you ask me to help you move house, that's a burden. Okay, nothing prismarine here at all. Jeff, thanks for the apple again. Boat. What? What happened to my boat? 
So this week I'm moving in. That fridge is too heavy. No, Kim. Neo. Neo. Back back when I lived in Australia, I was a courier, so I had my own van. I got asked to move like like constantly. People asking me to help them move. Oh, Lopey! Making it night time. I wonder what happened to my boat. Seriously, I had a boat. Is it not called a boat? Or an oak boat. What happened to my boat? Oh, I know what happened to my boat. I've left it sitting next to some island somewhere. I'm just going to have to make a new one. How on earth are we going to do that? Bring it on. How many health does an elephant have? 65, so that would take more hits than I'm willing to risk. I'm stuck. Two days ago you got COVID uh, bivalent shot and flu shot and tetanus shot, so yesterday was so tired. But how are you feeling today? Better? Good, bad, indifferent? I love this sword. Wow. All right, guys. Jeez. Jeez, guys. One at a time. All right, while we're here. Oh. Seriously? Fall damage reduction. I, I do not take fall damage. Very much better. Fell asleep. Super tired. Woke up. Total energy. Very weird. That's what happens though. You know, some sometimes some people, they'll take that shot. Uh, oh. Wow. Okay. That was a fantastic explosion. Uh, but yeah, some people will take that shot and then they'll be like exhausted for a couple of days and, and then everything comes right again. Alright, now someone was shooting arrows at me. And they must have a laser beam. Oh, there you are. Get out of here, you. Okay, so we're looking for something prismarine -y, but at the same time, I was, I was kind of hoping that we would get a tree um, so that I could make a boat. <sighs> There's nothing out here. Okay, luckily. Um, okay, so we want a crafting table. And I want some planks. And that apple. Nothing remotely prismarine. All right, so we out here hunting down prismarine. I don't really want to get a, um, a temple. Hang on, there's a drown back here. The drown just sitting there on his own. Hello. Okay, just, just a random drowned. Nothing to see. We 
Looking to the coastline. Oh, there's a... Okay, there's a drowned with a trident. No, he hasn't got anything over there either. A couple of sunfish. Work, son. Fish. Another drowned over here. Oh ho! Could this be of use? Any moonfish? Doubt it. Okay, not really. Okay, nothing in there. Okay, boat. You know, one time I saw Kim playing uh, bingo and she did this move where she got out of her boat and jumped in the air and then while she was in the air she turned around and she swung and hit it with a sword. Um, broke the boat, scooped it up and then uh, went on her merry way. All in one motion. It was very smooth, very slick. I was impressed. What weapon is that? It is called a Shroomic Great Blade. Deals additional damage if the wielder is poisoned. It is... Um, Fantastic, Kamiko. It does almost one shots everything. Almost. Uh, cobble. Okay, what do we get? Two more engineering presses, so... The calculation silicon logic. So we got all of the presses, that's good. Not the press, who's that? E bail. Guy stone meteor, nice. Yes. Okay, but we still need prismarine. more drowned. I think we hit that area already, so let's continue around the coastline for a bit. Shroomic Great Blade. Programmer Jeff a hello macro. He is a programmer. Oh, something just jumped into the water there and made a big splash. So there's a drowned just over here. No, just a random drowned. I don't, don't care, random drowned. I want. I drowned with a house. I need to drown with a hoose. I am a hello macro. Oh hey, a new village. See, can we do it? I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe if I didn't jump twenty feet in the air every time I tried to get off the ground, we we might have been able to do that. All right, let's hit the uh, the waypoint, waystone, a Zacharitron, as a Kiratron, as as a as a as a. 
Ezekotron. Ezekotron. Something like that. Alright, let's continue. I'm glad they redesigned the villages, though. I must say that. The, the old villages were a little bit... Meh. Never mind me, Mr. Security Guard. I'm not, uh, I'm not stealing anything, I promise. Oh, hello. Didn't need that, did you? Something Minecrafty in here about the village, it's true. There we go. Oh, I missed the thing. I'll take that. Alright, yeah, yeah. Alright, what other village places do we have? Hello! Nothing in here. And do we have easy villages? Did we check that? We did. Oh, I set my respawn point in there. Whoops. In there. How come these villages don't have chests in them? How am I meant to get cool village loot? Oh, there's, there's one with a chest. There's another one with a chest. Make the game pack look fun, but when you're playing, not as much. Oh, hello. What on earth are you? Is like the Eye of Sauron. There is unlikely to be any, um, a pork site. There's unlikely to be any. Any finish to that sentence. There was also no seal sticks from that seal kill. We won't do that again. Um, I can't remember. I cannot remember what I was going to say. Oh, it's, there's unlikely to be anything good that would come out of a tower that looks like that. But we'll check it. Kill one, and the rest run away. Well, that is a Vex spawner. Yeah, that can go. That is also a Vex spawner. Another one that's also Vex. So is that one? Alright, so he's out of there. Listen, you punk! Oh, I stole one of my apples. Yeah, you know what's in for you if you get back down here, right? Where'd he go? Bring it on, seagull! Oh, I missed him. I missed again. There. What you get? Eat my apple. All right, let's get back up to the top of the tower. That seagull made that really difficult.
Oh, two totems of undying. Okay, let's take the old chest. Uh, I'll take that too, why not? Hey, Dee Dee. That'll jump magic life in range three. Complaint to Peter is out. Okay. Little Peter. Went to high school with a guy named Peter. What's going on? I just got nothing to do today, Dee Dee, so I figured we'll, we'll play a bit of MC. I did think about maybe doing something different, but um, I had a quick look at what there was, and um, maybe uh, maybe you could do the Outer Limits a little bit. I hadn't really played that. Wait, oh, jeez. Drew Gulliver coming in with the rain. Hi, Drew. How you doing? How was your stream? Was it good? Bad? Indifferent? I need to stop saying that. Like, stuck on things. Drew us in with your stream title today. Perhaps you've heard of them. How am I today? I'm alright. A little bit a little bit bored, which is why we're streaming on a Saturday. Normally I, I wouldn't stream on a Saturday. Is there? Why is one of them just a zombie? Oh, because he drowned. Oh, yeah. That one mod we did a month or so ago. Ow, Dagon missed. Okay, now normally for new people here, normally we, would, we wouldn't be doing this with a sword, but we we're a long way away from our base, so that's why we is. Glad you're streaming. Friday, Saturday nights are usually bereft of streamers. Bereft. Bereft is a good word. What's the orange ore? Uh, that is lava something? Lava crystal. This is gobba. And Gobba Lucky Block drops food. Gooey beef? Nether gooey beef. Other things? Yeah, there are a few more down there. Just chilling in the water. Found a diamond crystal in your world today. A diamond crystal. Like an amethyst crystal. It's from like two inches away I missed. Oh yeah, Drew, I've seen one of them before. They're cool. They look sweet. Um Yeah, it was like a whole geode made of diamonds. And I was like, get out of here, this is a crazy town. What was the critter in the water? There's all sorts of critters in the water. These look like manatees to me. Yeah, that's a manatee. Uh, that's a squid. Like a normal Minecraft squid. There's a little lizard of some sort. Seals before. We had seals earlier on. Oh, the huge manatee. One crystal dropped like two to three diamonds. Ah, like, oh, yay. But, um, oh, there's some sharks over there. That's a the double-tailed the double -tailed shark. Dreaded double-tailed shark. One t tail at one end. Tail at the other. Or, or maybe it's just two sharks. But so far, all evident. Oh! <gasps> Prismarine! Oh no, yeah, it's two sharks. Any idea what mod the manatees are from? Sure! They are from. Untamed Wilds. Does it swim like a boomerang? I imagine it would just swim in circles. Limestone. Uh, but we've come out here looking for Prismarine, and I spy some Prismarine, so... Hang on. Let's get our boat out. Pr 
Where's my who? Where's my in? Look at it. Get in there. Bim. And back down again. Drew, if anybody is watching and they're not following Drew, you should follow Drew. A very talented multi-streamer. She streams on two platforms at once. Two! That's two more than I should be streaming on. Oh, I... Thank you. And we'll eat the gooey beef. Feels wrong to say. Yes, let's have that gooey... the gooey beef. Right, what do we have here? Nothing hugely useful. Usually useful. Grab this quickly or slowly. Slowly as it turns out. And we get out of here. Huh. I did pick up the boat. Okay, right. We're going to go back to shore. Now that we got our prismarine. Just, if you do go check out Drew, just don't make a Drew, um, a Gulliver's Travel joke. He gets it all the time. Alright, slash home. Sleep. Right. Okay, so we got the Prismarine. How do I break it down? Break it down. I need Earth Charge. Earth Charge or Crushing Wheels, I think. Or just a Crusher. JJ! Thanks for that lightning strike. Keep a man honest. Appreciate it. I'm breaking and a fishing rod of unknown. Oh, I got a sneeze coming. Hang on. Oh boy. Alright, had fun this morning as I was just about to go to bed. We lost most of our power. Basically, a really bad brownout. I um, I haven't had that happen in a long time, but the last time that it did happen, it sucked. I hated it. A uh, crate. That's just crate, that is. Right, so we'll do... These are all empty. Yep. Right, so these are six extra storages. Oh. Well. Wait, uh, before we go anywhere. You mod developer. I found a slight issue with your mod. Okay, so we need to make a crusher. A crusher. Two buckets of lava. That thing is done. That thing is done. Uh, like someone ran into a pole and it mostly broke. You have a battery backup for your CPAP. CPAP. Um, who was talking about CPAP the other day? Dark Hosto. I think Dark Hosto has been, been trying to get his hands on a CPAP. Hey, Disco Bear. Oh, 
I'm thinking of maybe hiding this cable. Hi, Blues Wolf as well. Best thing you did for, did for yourself is get the CPAP. I know for, for Dark Coaster, it was something to do with just general sleeping issues. And they suggested trying a CPAP. My dad has a CPAP. Oh, hang on. Loud enough to keep you awake. Wow. South Africa, we get rolling brownouts on a regular basis. randomly stop breathing at night that that sounds like apnea okay that's building back up again that's good the generators are common I wonder if there's a way that I could get power into that without having a power cable sticking out I don't think there is <clears throat> yeah, randomly, randomly snoring, uh, stopping breathing in your sleep is apnea. But everybody has apnea. It's just for some people, it's really bad. Hey, Veritai. <clears throat> Solar is the way. Told I snort yet to hear it, so it's not true. Oh, hello. Missed. Yeah. It's affecting or dangerous to you, it's a problem. <clears throat> if it's happening all the time, it's a problem. Okay, crusher. Anyway, we're making a crusher. We're getting distracted. I need two buckets of lava. So let's let's start with that. Bucket. I need two buckets. I need to make another bucket. We have two. Now we have to go and get lava. It was des designed to automatically turn on when needed and stays plugged in all the time. Gad has one that isn't. Apparently it discharged since he last needed it. Well, <clears throat> I, I am easily distracted, it's true. Yeah, that's not deep enough. When do you don't get distracted? That's true, I'm, I'm always, I'm always getting distracted. I was meant to be digging for gold down here. Hey, some nickel. Oh, this, oh. Gold. And, nickel. Dude, did I just get 27 raw gold out of that one little thing? It's got fortune on it. Oh, efficiency. Get in. Okay, here's what we're going to do, right? We're going to do this real quick. We're going to go down here. We're going to get distracted again. What are you? It's osmium. <clears throat> we're going to build a little walkway down the back here. It's rated for your CPAP. Those things apparently do some serious power draws at certain times. accidentally found some diamonds. Five of them. 
Why is my backpack? Oh, because it's full. Never mind. Deck spawn egg. Alright, we'll eat some bread. Out of curious, Mr. Quickly, is the TP link good enough to play games, download things, and go to live and to go live? The TP link. Um, uh, there's like a a ton. A uh, there are a ton of TP link products. Uh, you would have to be more specific. But, um, probably TP Link tend to make decent stuff. Okay, I thought there was a lava tunnel at the end here, so let's. Maybe it was over this way. Lava tunnel, hello. Oh, a lava tunnel, that doesn't make sense. <clears throat> a lava tunnel. Oh, there we go. Found. I think that was... Huh? What the... How confused. Right, uh... You... Gold. So I got 34 plus 27. That's almost enough, but not enough. Almost, but not enough enough. Enough. 61. So I need three more gold ores. While we're down here, probably try and find a little bit more. Never run with scissors, never run with a lava bucket in your hand. <clears throat> right. Any lava? No. Any gold in here? Doesn't look like it. You have a TP-Link Deco M4 mesh Wi-Fi system. I mean, if you're going to be streaming, what I would say, personally, if you're going to be streaming on your computer, try, try and use a wired connection. not a strict hard and fast rule. Oi. Oh, there's two spawners here. Wait. Little punk. Um, other people may disagree, but for me, if you were going to do it, I would try and use the ethernet. Yeah, so it's wireless, but if you can, don't, don't go wireless. It's, it's a little bit more um, reliable. Wired into a wireless router due to the layout of your house. So yeah, like you can stream on a wireless connection. You can. But I think you'll, you'll get more consistent results if you don't. Give it a gigabyte, 950 down and 50 up. Mine is... Uh, 950 down, and I think the last time I checked it, it was 500 up. One thing they do in New Zealand here is they, they get the internet right. Oh, this is a geode, isn't it? It is. Power line is a thing. Yeah, power line is a thing. Um, that's un unreliable as well. It's okay for some basic stuff, um, but th there are just too many factors in there that could make it go bad. Um, like if you're, uh, if you just assume that all of your power is connected to the same, the same sort of grid throughout the house, uh, you, you're probably not going to be happy. We're going to run out of space in the, in the thing in here. So I I had a power line system in in an older house that I stayed at for a while and it was okay. It was okay. Um but it was not reliable for any um like for getting data from Oh, it's back down here again. Um if you uh, if you're trying to get data from 
like a massive amount of data would take forever to, to copy across basically um, and for a few days I could stream video using it and then for some reason it just stopped house was built in 64 in Ort 64 hey go perfect what is sleep and do I need to do it is very important and yes you do need to do it all right so we got our gold finally spectral soup hmm spectrally and now we'll take out all of this stuff Sleep is what happens between long bouts of playing Minecraft. Actually, the last couple of days it's felt like that for me. Okay, right, so that means now uh, that quest is done. Dance Globe can go down. Checking out schools your son can go to next year. What did we get? We got an ex expanded RF coil. Nice. Uh, right. So we're trying to make a crusher. Okay, so to make the crusher we need steel casing. Steel casing means we need to get steel from Mya. Just watch Jacksepticeye playing the new God of War and Atreus. Atreus. Crusher. Yeah, there you go. What I've noticed is your previous network is not connected, but there is a TP link. Yeah, it's it's too hard to say. A uh, like I don't know enough about the way that your network is set up, but I would say, right in general, a TP link should be should be fine. But you would be better with a wired connection if you can get one. But it sounds like you can't. That is not the end of the world. There we go. Okay, so crusher. And then we want to crush. I can't re even remember what I was crushing. I think this I think this is available now, Didi. Um but uh, it might be called Murus with two S's now. M-U-R-U-S-S. Because uh, Kamiko said that she got it yesterday. Why did I make the crusher? I can't even remember why I made that. Oh, there's my box site. Done. Yeah, two S's and no copyrighted rain. Yeah, there's no... I think the atmospheric rain mod has been removed, so... Making your son get it? Nice. Take that off. Right, see you, Dagon Mist. Thanks for hanging out with us. Ones that I removed? I didn't... I didn't... Oh, I know I did remove some. I removed, uh, there's one called Champions. Um, that's the one that spawns in mobs with like a thousand health. Um, the other one was Infernal Mobs. I think it's like Alex's Infernal Mobs or something like that. I turned that one off. Um, that's it, I think. Those are the main ones. Nickel. There you go. There's a nickel quest done. This item or fluid can be used to produce fuel for a reactor. Okay, so we have reactors in here. But do we make a reactor? Maybe 
Maybe we have to make a reactor. Not a fission reactor. Graphite. Graphite is still just blasting coal, right? Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> what are the unfinished quests I saw in the upper left of the quest page? Uh. Are these ones here? This is go to the end. Kill the dragon. If he's talking about these ones. I remember what I needed the stuff for. The crusher. That was for the prismarine. Oh, I have prismarine shards. We're about to get a whole lot more. Go! Yes, there we go. All right, so we're going to go dimensional shard. No, it's not. It's not called dimensional shard. It's called a dim dimensional cell. Okay, we don't have that guy. So we'll make more of this guy. You still don't know how to move the stupid map. Oh, that's another one that I disabled. Um, here we go. You can just turn it off. Um, and then, because it's got... It does have both maps in it, right? So if, if you hit... J to bring up the journey map thing and then turn off the journey map mini map then you can use the FTB chunks mini map go down to settings down here and just make sure that it's enabled I think it was I think it was journey map but yeah putting it in the bottom the bottom left is a very weird choice Okay, dimensional cell. So here's what we're going to do with you, dimensional cell. Um, this is going to be... Set all sides to input. That to there, so that's going to fill that up. Then we're going to take this dimensional cell and we're going to put this up the... Hang on. There we go, okay. And we're going to take this upstairs and link it. And we'll do that by going out, out this door. Up onto the meow. And you go there, all sides in. Link. Okay, so this is now filling with power from this. And we're going to get the wrench out. Smart wrench. You are going to go onto side output. Output. Hang up. Disappear from there. Uh. Sushi? Don't mind if I do she. Oh, I'm not hungry. Okay, so that's going that way. Now what we can do is to help this along. And take the energy pipe and do that. So that'll fill up. That should have 2 million RF in it. Or 1 million, maybe. Right, so that's giving... Alright, this is giving power to this. The coal generator is giving power to this. The uh, wind station upstairs... Wind station? That's also giving power to that. Can we make another one of these?
10. Okay, so I'll take this out as well. And we'll double up. Uh, double up. Uh, uh. Okay, and you go into there, and then we need to. That. Link to unlinked. Link to. What? Hang on. Okay. I obviously got that backwards. Alright, so that is now full. We got the prismarines. Give me this back. Keep that for later. That can go into there. That's done. Alright, so if we wanted to make atomic alloy, alloy, teleportation core, we need four atomic alloys. That means we need reinforced alloy, which is infused alloy and diamond dust. How many diamonds do we have? I know we had like a stack of diamonds. Go for four diamonds, crush them. <clears throat> crush them. Let's crush them. Okay, Constantin. Right, so to get Constantin, we need Constantin Blend, which is nickel grit and copper grit. Uh. So, let's go nickel. Here's a block of nickel I prepared earlier. And copper. And then we're going to grit them up. So we're going to make another power source. Oh, we can't, can't crush them in the crusher. Can alloy kiln them. That crusher will do it. The pulverizer will do it. The induction smelter will do it. Hammer in inventory will do it. This one. Oh, that, oh, that goes straight to plate. I did this before to get two, but I need a lot more. Um, I think, I think we could just go induction smelter. Can we go induction smelter? Need invar. Let's try. Let's try and see if we can try and do this. What am I missing in the middle there? That's a furnace. Okay, furnace. Done. Invar gear means we need invar. I don't have any invar. Invar is another one that we got to melt together, right? We can make invar in the induction smelter if we had the induction smelter. Hi, Platinum. How you doing? Like, I don't want to make the alloy kiln just to do, like, a couple of recipes. It's starting to feel like we might have to. Zero to five? Oh, what? What happened? Prosperity or can go there. That was free ups and our Pokemon battles on zero for five. Oh, I promise it's random. It's not, it's not anything I'm doing. It's completely random. Yeah, that's starting to fill up. Got a little bit of room left. All 
Alright, what's next? Uh, the crafting remote. Let's see if we can make this guy now. So, in order to make the crafting remote... Oh, I removed... Last time you won three in a row. It'll, it'll come back to you. Okay, four of those. Uh, two blocks of gold. One ender chest. Okay, so we can't make an ender chest yet because we need to make that. Uh, whoop. Hello. Need blaze powder. Storage doohickey. Oh, there we go. And rafting. Oh, I didn't, I didn't make the chest. There we go. Now we can make the crafting remote. Yes! And we link that into the storage system. Oop, linked. Uh, we will open our inventory. Remove that and replace with that. Go in there and now we can inventory and craft things directly from our inventory. Very nice. Uh, right, so we've done the blast furnace, so we still need to make the invar. We can make the redstone flux coil pretty easy. That's done. Machine frame. That's just glass, but that's tin gear. Yeah. Blah, blah. Machine frame. So if we wanted to make this now, the only thing that we're missing is the invar gears. And to do that, we need invar. Invar means um, smelting. Arc furnace. Uh, we're going to have to make an alloy kill. So what am I missing here? Sandstone. Really? Yeah, that's that's half of what I need to make. Oh no. I made cream bricks accidentally. I almost did it again. Okay, so now we need the engineer's hammer, uh, which I don't have. Can make hammer. Okay, where can we put this guy? You can live down the back here. I'll take it. All right, backpack is not full. Yeah, this is chugging along at a decent speed. Oh, Mario. <clears throat> Ow. Okay, so we were going to use the copper dust to make atomic alloy. Uh, which we do by making reinforced alloy is this one so we need infused alloy six of them I can only make two from this I'm gonna need more either way so let's get some more diamonds out Four more to start with. 
Come on. Okay, at least they came out the same. Uh, so to make a thermoelectric generator, we need five. I think I wanted us to do four of them. Uh, where was that? That was on energy. Yeah, so it's four of them, so I need 20 total const constant tank. And I've just, I've just hit 20. Bang. Bingo, bango. Uh, so that means we need 15 steel. I have 28 steel. Uh, and the other thing that we're going to need is copper coil block. Ethereum chest plate. Yeah, we'll stick with the one that we're wearing, thank you, but that's a good chest plate. Uh, okay, so you're done. What's that, Tan? That's done. So copper coil block means we need LD wire coil. Means we need copper wire. Copper wire comes from copper plates or copper sheets. Okay, so let's go for wait, copper. And we'll get the hammer. Uh, let's do... So each one of these makes four. So we got to make the engineer's ha um, wire cutters. We're going to make all the wire coil. That. Okay. Wow. Okay, and the hammer. If we're doing this four times, we need twenty four of these. 25 just to be safe for some reason. Uh, and then we get the wire cutters. We'll make the coils. And we'll make the copper coil blocks. Perfect. Okay, so now we should now be able to make now these now. And that gives us ice. And buckets. I think we're going to have to go lava hunting again. watering can and a dark wood sapling no. right two buckets time to go lava hunting and we accidentally found lava before still gonna go to the nether oh no we were gonna do the thing Go to the thing. Uh, I was going to make the digital miner before we went back to the nether. Now, I swear, my memory of this was that we got to the end of here and there was lava. There is no lava there.
confusing. What what's going on with my tunnels? Diamonds. All right. Nothing down there. I see. I see how it is. I think it was yeah it was back it was back there and then I made it into obsidian I remember now I remember anyway flash home let's just pretend that we made it all the way up all right uh now we're going to thermoelectrically generate some power I'm gonna I'm gonna do that by coming down here Hi Morpheus. Thanks for renaming that dog there. So these work by having opposing stuff in them, right? So if I had that in the middle, then Doing this. Hey. Maybe it needs to be packed ice. Um let's let's try different ice. Twice, pack dice. So these, in theory, should now be making should now be making power. Hey, Wolfie. Like, they're not making any power. Oh, I already have a rent. Maybe it isn't packed ice. Put ice and lava near to produce energy power. It's been a long time since I've used this mechanic. Oh! We're back. Vimal, thank you for the explosion. Yeah, these aren't producing power. <clears throat> okay, so... We need the engineer's guide thing. We should go play Final Fantasy XV, but not awake yet. Take your time. <clears throat> no, no hurry.
The packed ice can't be it, right? It has to be ice. But the ice just melted. Maybe because I'm in scrubland. Do the electric generators need an output? They don't do they, that's fine. Alright, let's let's look up the the engineer's manual. Um <clears throat> Simple machines. Power. Okay. Thermoelectric. They are another option of power generation and work without the use of any mechanical parts. Instead, these temperature gradients between two sources. You do have the pack and turn off those two mods. Good. Uh, placing hot fluid on one side and a colder fluid on the other. So packed ice should be producing stuff. Posting sides generate energy based on the difference between the two temperatures. The list below contains other non-fluid blocks which can be used as sources of temperature. So packed ice is better. Ice is better than packed ice. A powder snow bucket. Just water is better. Hyper block lava. Uranium block is 200k. Okay, hang on. We have uranium. That is from immersive as well. So if I take out the lava and put uranium in the middle, these should now be producing power. But they aren't. Lava's 1300k. So 2,000, 240, reactors bad unless they are power ones. Yeah, I, I actually, I don't mind power as a power mod. But was it in, was it in 118? Did they make it up for 118? Maybe they didn't. But these things here, this is just thermoelectric, this should be working. It is in 118. It's been a while since I've seen anyone put it in a pack. Okay. Have to get some more packed ice. Or just normal ice. Okay, hang on. All the mod seven PTS and dances dream color. It's fine. Oh, 15 diamonds. Eh, right, so we're just gonna try normal ice here then. If I went. Uranium. Ice. That would be uranium. That would be ice. So let's get two more uraniums. Um, before we do that, let's... That's going to be uranium. And so all that. So I need two more uranium blocks. <clears throat> eh, we can do that.
Maybe maybe it needs heat sources on both sides before it will start producing power. Hey, time consumer. It's not bad. Considering it's the first pack that the, the mod dev has ever made, I think it's been pretty decent. Although I'm sure that this should be working and it isn't. Use the temperature gradients between two sources. So placing a hot fluid on one side and a colder fluid on the opposing side generates energy based on the difference between the two temperatures. It, yeah, it's connected to a battery over here. So that comes up and goes across and into there. Maybe it's not producing because that is full. Yeah, I'm going to have to make another one. That was not super easy to make. But even still, right, that, sh that should be, like, filling up its internal buffer. But none of them are. Here's what we'll do. Disconnect these for now. That should mean that the XNet controller's power is going down. For this... Right, see that's going down. That's at 310 and dropping. Right, 310 and dropping. And we're going to go over here. And now we have a power source that needs power. Uh, yep, that's going up now. It's not super fast, but that is going up. Okay, so... If we put that back there, and we remove these... So that means that this is filling up. We need to re-wrench that one, which has been unwrenched. Now that should be powering this again. Okay, so we have several different power sources. But that... That one there is powering this. These are powering this. The packed ice is colder, so I should be using packed ice. get one more packed ice this would produce more and then we get the uranium we place that down there and then we get more that way too uh, uranium should be done Uranium and packed ice. Oh my. Oh my. Alright, and you guys are out of there. Done. So that one's three blocks up. Oh, okay. There's three blocks of uranium quest done. That gives me this. Put this near thermoelectric generators to produce fast energy power. Okay, so that's happening. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's get some of this out. Um, I might pretty up the floor in here. I 
Exposed copper tile stairs. Exposed copper tile stairs. Right, upstairs. And to you, sir. And then we're going to do a stack of you. And a stack of you. Hey, Elven Time. Welcome back. to see you. Good to see you. I mean. Okay, so that would be that, which means you were there and you were there. So, tile, tile, tile. Actually went really smoothly. Okay, now I'm gonna move this cable, but this is gonna go underneath this the whole way around. Oh no, it isn't. Oh no, it isn't. Oh yes, it is. But it's gonna have to go around. It's not the end of the world because we can do that mostly from there. There we go, like it. All right, you, you're gonna go there and there and there and there. And you, you go there, there, there. And there, and then you go there. Looks good. I just need one more packed ice. One more packed ice, right? That'll do it. Yep. Okay. Um, what we could do is we could make this look a lot tidier with some more facades. Like we could move that XNet connector and put the facades into the, the wall there. Have that run around. Oh, I think I'm gonna. Gonna do it. Gonna do it, chat. You can't stop me. direction is that? that is. Ah, you jeez. Diddy. Diddy, she's stopping me from doing stuff. Diddy, thanks for the hundred bits. Thank you very much. I told you so. Got it. We got this under control. Hey. Oh yes. Yes indeed. Oh. 
up in time with the 100 bits as well. Oh, I'm hit, hitting them with a stick. Thank you for the other 100 bits. Thank you very out much. Kiyumi with a heal. Thank you, Kiyumi. Thanks, Wolfie, for the 100 bits, and that's boost train time. Welcome, everyone, to the boost train I, that I can't hear the sound effects for. <laughs> Thank you for the heals, Pascara. Just put a couple of heals in there. Thank you very much. 100 bits or more get you into the hype train. Um, Spawn some mobs. I'm making me a real bad time. Jeez. Ah! 100 more bits. Oh, it's daytime as well. Thanks, Elven Time, for another 100 more bits. Bunnies. Thank you for the bunnies. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't oh to the DD switches. There they are. Hold it. Oh. Okay. We're in trouble now. We're in trouble. Alright, if I die, I just need to quickly check them. No. Oi! Oh, okay, you're yeah, gonna die. AKA! AKA with five gifted subs. Thank you very much, AKA. I did get too complacent. I've got weakness now too, so I can't hit anyone. Oh my god. But, okay, one second, real quick. Uh, why can't I hear the hype train? Oh, hang on. That should have played. That's off. And that. Wait, can you guys hear the high train music? Because I can't. Dang, Windows update. Alright, respawn. Let's do this anyway. We can sort that out later. You can pretend that you can hear it. Something like that. Alright, aka gifted five subs. Thank you for the five gifted subs. They went to Shadow Z64, Dutch Rocker, Sim, XD, Rainforest, I got one, and Dagon Mist as well. Thank you very much. You can hear the music barely over the mobs. I, I, did, I think I didn't turn the mobs down. But what channel is that playing on? I need to figure out what channel it's playing on because I can't be here at all. It's really weird having a hype train with no hype train music. Right. Oh, oh Diddy with 500 bits. It's five spiders. Aha, I got out. It's just, it's just the sound of all of the um, of all of the zombies all lining up. Hey, 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 hey. Didn't your five friend? Oh, yours did. It did got that okay. Um, hang on. There are some spiders in here. I think in the chaos of not having sound, I may have missed. Them. Oh, that's Dee as well. I did see your spiders spawn in. They're in there. But thank you, Gothardica. And it's worse because they're witches, and the witches, when they throw damage potions, they heal the skeletons. So it'll make it just that little bit harder. But they are in there, God, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're in here. Did 
take it. Kill. Hang on. Uh, those are DD as well. Where are they? Oh, it's so dark down here. I swear I saw them. That's DD. There's that one on the top up there. Oh. I'm still trying to be a ghostly figure. Oh, whoa! Oh, that's DD too. What? I can see them. Oh, I can't see them. Very strange. Anyway, three minutes left in the hype train. We hit level three. We hit the start of level three. Uh, we're, we've cleared level two. Just, let's say that. Spiders, to be fair, the spiders do attack the witches, and the witches defend themselves, so... They, they could have died, but I do remember seeing spiders come in with the 500-bit thing. Or maybe they got exploded, because there was a, 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 a sub-bomb as well. What? Ay-ay-ay! Oh, jeez! Oh, Dee Dee with 200 bits! Thanks, Dee Dee, 200 more bits. Can I get Mr. Wiggly in the bedroom? Almost. Almost got me. Oh. Ah. Oh. Two minutes left. 19% towards level 3. Oh, oh Dee Dee, that was really close, that one. 100 more bits from Dee Dee! Always the witch's fault. Yeah, we know. We know. Wow. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oops, I thought it could not be at the bottom of the elevator. I think some of DDs are at the top of the elevator. Yep, there they are. This is a way fun game. Oh, jeez. Maybe another 100 bits. 32% now into level 3. Oh, no, ads. Oh, no. They seem to be moving so silky smooth. 52 seconds to go in the hype train. them out fairly soon. Hey! Got me with the ouch there. Super effective. I was thinking of making a 50-50 uh, shot of the ouch being less effective. Different mobs are more bitchy use. There are Elven Tide, yes. That's it. Hype Train complete. Thank you so much. Thank you for the Hype Train. Before we get back downstairs, let's say thank you to the people who contributed to the hype train. It was Dee Dee with 100 bits, Elventine 100 bits, Wolfie 100 bits, Elventine another 100, Dee Dee 1000 bits, Gothardica used 500 bits, aka M3 gifted 5 tier 1 subs, thank you so much. Uh, Dee Dee with 500 bits, Dee Dee 200 bits, 100 bits, 100 bits again, Gothardica 100 bits, and Dee Dee finishing us off with 100 bits. Thank you so much. Hype train over, we finished level 2. Um, Elven time for you. You do that. There you go. That's what they spawn. And now, very, very quickly, I just want to have a look for Hype Train music and turn that on and off, and then go. Okay. Now I can hear it again. All right. 
There we go. All right, let's get downstairs and uh, immediately die because we have three health. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> immediately died, as predicted. All right, fight. Hey, that is nasty down there. Do I turn the mob sounds down? Are they too loud? I think I set them like fifty percent. I can turn. I can turn them down. Let's just check quickly. Hang on. Options, music, and sounds. Yeah, they're at 50. Let's turn them down to 40. Because they are quite loud still. Yeah, that many very loud. Oh, we did it. We did it. We got the sound back. Yeah, so I had a Windows update. Uh, and the Windows update, of course, every time there's a Windows update for me, uh, it messes with my sound, so... Of course I had sound issues before the stream started. Yep. So... So there's some stuff that, that I can, and some stuff I can't hear. Before the stream started, I couldn't hear the game sound at all. I had to wait for, until I could get that back and working. But I think I found a shortcut to get that working. It's, it's on a video capture. I have to start video capture in another app, which sort of fires up the sound. Very strange. Oh, I killed one! Ah. So many demon spiders! What happened to the Gothaga ones? Windows update resets everything. Yeah, I hate it. Oh, I killed a dude! some reason though, right, I know a lot of people have been having issues with OBS, right, when they, when they update their OBS, they have issues with it. For me, I'm, I'm still on Streamlabs, um, and my Streamlabs runs fine, right, like I haven't had any of the issues that a lot of people have been having. But what I do have is, every time there's a Windows update, it loses the sound information for some reason, because I've got sound being pushed off to different channels all over the place, so that I can hear things that you can't hear. Stuff like that. Hey! Um, yeah, so I, I can hear different things to what you guys can hear, like um, with regards to music and stuff like that. So you, you can hear pretzel, I can't. Um, but, but for some reason, yeah, every time I restart uh, uh, after a Windows update, all of that information gets lost and I have to reset all of the sound settings in OBS again and it's... I mean, I'm, I'm getting good at it, but I shouldn't have to be, you know? I think Witch is just, just chilling in the corner, waiting her turn. You're in trouble, Witch, when we get back to you. Reset three different channels, and I don't even stream, it must be a nightmare for you guys. Yeah, because I've got ten channels. Most, well, they're stereo, so it's really five channels. Uh, but then I've got some individual sound sources, which for some reason they they don't work either. So I've got to set all of those up. It's become a whole thing. Hello, Toller Gas. Welcome in. 
This is gonna hit. This one's got one health. There you go. Okay, so here's our goal. We want to try and get one one mob per life if we can. Some of these are still. Oh, there's two that time. Oh, three. Three. One. Okay, good. We got our one average. I think I just saw another one dying there. Oh, I got another one. Yes. Yes. There's one. Okay, we just got the one that time. That's fine. Chipping away. There's one. And the lovely village. Not a single village. It's so weird. Not even for the blue skies. I've, um, a lot of the villages don't have anything in them, really, that I've noticed. There'll be, there'll be uh, villagers, but no, um, no rewards or nothing. Like, no chests. It's quite a few of other places like that. Oh no, I beat up. Oh. Don't the people recording zombie sounds for like TV shows and stuff feel really silly when they do it? Yeah, there was no peeps, there's more. Oh yes. Oh, she's fighting the spider. Okay, I'll let you guys just you can duke it out. Perfect timing on the heel. Oh, never mind. Alright, let's see if we can take this witch out without... Um, dancing on my grave. Okay, we're going to try and take out the witch without... Without... With, without, um, without a weapon. She's healing herself again. Okay, fine. Fine. Remember, you asked for this lady. She forced our hand. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we were trying to do this. This. Okay, so that goes like that. Stick the cat on it. Does that work? If that worked, I'd, I'd consider it. Total gas, thanks for the heal. Oh, hang on. Before we do that, we want to... That's south. That's south. So we turn both of those off. Valp, thank you for the heal again. Thank you so much.
Where's my dog? Did you rename the dog? Uh, the dog is... Over here, there's the dog. Currently named Morpheus. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that's right. If anyone wanted to rename it, you can see it happened live. I'm not going to touch nothing. That one? Nope. Okay. Fine, that's fine. Fine. Okay, back down to Mia. We're going to... Two, three, four. I need like four more. One of them has to be that. We need one of these. And we need more there. And then we'll do the last one can be. Let's see. Okay, so this will be normal. That's going to be just a brick there. Looking good. Okay, so I need a deep sleep, polished deep sleep. Put the facades away. And eat the sushi. Been holding off on that sushi for a long time. Oh. How do we make a power cell medium? We need power core medium. We need a lot more redstone than one. Okay, so we're going to remove those. The reinforced alloys, they should be... Four of them are done. To make these, we need four. Okay, hang on. Let's start doing some stuff. More refuels. Thank you very much for the heal. The teleportation core needs two. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six. Six atomic alloy. Um, mystical sorter times two. Okay. Need more iron. And do this. And make one more of those. Okay, so that's the logistical sorter portion done. We need a steel casing. Oh, I haven't got any glass. Okay, so that is behind here. Oh, so it must be under here then. That's where that is. So if we wanted to do an import in, we'd have to import directly through there. So we would replace that with a barrel. And then we could we could import down and around and into the storage network. So I don't have an import cable. We could make them though. Let's make an import cable. I'm gonna call it a night. No worries, Wario. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Oh, I'm one short. I'm not one short. Okay, we're good. Okay, so that should mean that anything that goes in there automatically gets pulled in. There it goes. Wonderful. But we will replace that with a barrel. We'll replace all of these with barrels. Uh, so I need three barrels. Get rid of that barrel. Perfect. Give me all of this. Empty. Thank you. 
Perfect. Okay. So seamless, you can't even tell that we're importing things from upstairs. Okay, I want to check now. If I take an iron ore and I put it in... I cannot crush it. But never mind that. Uh, we do need to make in bar. Oh wait, no, we were doing... We're attempting to make steel casing. So that's done. The robot needs an atomic alloy and we need refined obsidian and a personal chest. Okay, well there's a the personal chest. That's done. Wasn't that hard? So Invar, we're going to do that in the alloy kiln. So we need one nickel and two iron. Oh, I don't have any nickel. Four iron. That. Need diamonds. Diamonds are the 67. Oh, how did I... I get dirt in there. Right, anyway, uh, this here, we need this to set up. That's the wireless charger, we don't need that. This is going to be extract, in insert, insert. Okay, so that's filling up with power again, that's good. That's full, that's full. That is almost full again. Everything looking A-OK. -okay. That should give us one more infused alloy with the 20, so we'll do two more of these. Just the two, thank you. <clears throat> Eat some mineral berries. We're not going to worry about a power cell medium just yet. An XP block, we can make that. Not 100% sure what this does. Okay. Now I know what it does. Um, so we got to get some XP. We got that bucket in the storage. that guy. What's that? Mining AOE2 augment. Mystical agriculture. Okay, we'll take all this XP out and we'll put that into the bucket thing in the corner. Oh, we got a lot of XP in here. No fast way to get this out, apparently. All right. There you go. 27 levels stored in our XP block. And bucket from unknown. You can go back. Okay, so that's done. The disenchanter, we, ow, what is that? Kazmat. Thanks for the ouch there, Kazmat. Unexpected. A disenchanter, that's done. And then, enchantment block. Done. And then we should be able to get the enchanter. That guy, and we put these three down somewhere close together. Lastly, okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We got some, uh, we got some pants. 
Protection and health boost. Protection and multi jump. Okay, so we'll take these and we'll put them in the disenchanter. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, oh it's Bane of Arthropods. That's fine. Okay, so now they are just golden leggings. Multi jump and protection. So I can now make a book of multi jump, right? Or protection. Those. Uh, what else we got? Chainmail. These are protection and multi jump too. Health boost. Here we go. Health boost. Projectile protection is not bad. Tombstone soulbound. Last protection. I think we should just take all of this stuff off here. Unbreaking. Urius. Another unbreaking protection and gloom. Block reach and step height. Last protection two and unbreaking. Protection, those are just normal and three times projectile protection. And what is this projectile protection? Well. Right, so that's all the leggings with magic on them. So let's look. There's a vanishing and tombstone soul bound. Enchantment block. What's that one? That's the enchanter. If I put an item in here, then I should be able to get the thing off of it. First time I've ever used this, so we're we're just winging it. Hey, it's remembering everything. That's good. Okay, so if I said those, if I said, I don't want multi-jump, right? Um, but unbreaking three, how do I apply unbreaking three to a thing? Maybe the enchanter have to be on the other side. That's true. So that's like that. Ah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, you guys are right. Both of you. There you go. Okay, so now we can say... I would like to put... Step height... Requires two levels. Okay, we, we can do that. Three levels. Step height. Now we have step height. I just had them in the wrong order. Multi jump I don't want. Unbreaking three would be nice, so we need a couple of levels for that. Not multi jump. Breaking three. We get step height and unbreaking three. We can't have another Unbreaking 3 or an Unbreaking 2. This got Skullfire Sword as a quest reward, but it was the normal one. Oh no! I remember uh, the, the time we played the first um, the first stone block, Firkenstein. Uh, Firkenstein got um, that, that really good Soulfire, Soulfire? Skullfire Sword right at the beginning. So he was down the hallway, um, killing, uh, killing Withers, 
you know, like one shotting with us and stuff with it, and we're all still just just getting going. Fire protection. So we need one level for fire protection. Why oh, it's two levels? Oh. I guess step high, unbreaking fire protection. One of the good ones in the earlier stone blocks. They're really good though. Okay, so those are actually quite good. We'll hold on to these and repair them. A seven armor toughness. Sufficiency and unbreaking two. I want to add something to this shroomic great blade if I can. Let's test if we can do the Shroom at Great Blade next. <gasps> we can. Ah! It's only the Swanky Potato. Hi, Swanky Potato. Thanks for the raid. Welcome in. Welcome everyone that's come in with the raid. How are we? Bit of Minecraft, I see. How did it go? How was the stream? Oh, I've got three health left. You're gonna kill me. Morpheus, I was doing okay, man. I was doing okay. Scare with the heal, thank you. Oh, one snuck around behind me. Another one. Stream is good playing stone block three. Nice. What do you think of it? Let's get over with another heal. I know uh, a lot of people are doing stone block three at the moment, so I'm interested to hear what they think of it. But hey, thank you for choosing me for your raid today. I appreciate it. I didn't get it. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, now we got it. Good. Only second mod of, uh, pack to ever play, so still trying to figure it all out. So much new stuff. The main thing is, if you're enjoying it, nothing else matters. Like Metallica said, nothing else matters. Alright, we were trying to put something on the Shroomic... Great blade. Uh, unbreaking feels like a good choice. Vein of arthropods. Increases damage against arthropods such as spiders and silverfish. Facebook and that is very well done. Also playing it though, not this moment. Uh, stone block. Breaking and efficiency. I can add Tombstone Soulbound to that, and this one I can add, I think we'll add Unbreaking 2. How cool is this? That is a good enchanting table, because we can rip all the bits and pieces out individually. So now we can look at shoes, and we got a bunch of stuff on shoes that we can play around with. Oh, mending. 
I might put mending on my sword. Feather falling, protection. Feather falling. Shadow step reduces the distance from which creatures detect you when you're stealthed. Fentonite getting all the chickens bred. Yeah, the chickens are, have always been a. Well, I mean, they had cows in the second one. Um. But yeah, the chickens is a resource thing. Especially because that's got EMC in it too, right? So you can use the chickens to generate EMC. That was always a, a like a, a cool way to make EMC. Just make a bunch of um, emerald chickens and have them pouring, um, pouring themselves into um, an, an EMC machine at the bowling. What is EMC? Ah, so EMC... EMC is actually really hard to explain. Um, I don't have EMC in this pack, so I can't show you. Um, but it's kind of... you got to sort of think of it like a bank. Sort of like a bank where you can put your... Um, you can put... You store points into it. And all of the things that you know. And then you can, uh, at a later point, you can spend the points that you have banked into it. Uh, to get free um, items out of it. Not, not free, you have to pay for them. I think a bank is a good way of explaining it. Uh, it's basically atomizing resources and then using something like the Star Trek materializer. But you can change what goes in and what comes out. The number given to an item for a mod that uses equivalent exchange that allows you to convert item A to number A to make item B at the cost of number B. Energy, matter, covalence, yeah. So if you think of it as like, yeah, like a bank, kind of like a bank, you store things, those things have a value, and then later on you can pull out that thing or another thing which has an equivalent points value, so it's sort of like buying it back from a bank. Still playing with gears. Did it create? I have created in this too, but but I haven't used it for anything. Valence, not conversion. Same thing, Dee Dee. It's fine. All right, magnet two makes you magnetic for item stacks and experience on the ground. That could be handy. Uh, the mending. Okay, so we want to put mending on the sword. Why is two levels? I have oh I have no levels. My fingers betray me. Pop that in there and then we'll mend that. So now that's got unbreaking three and mending. Now pants have got step height, unbreaking, fire protection. Shirt is fine. Fire protection. Hey, hello. Dee Dee! Dee Dee gifting a sub to the swanky potato. Thank you very much, Dee Dee. Have a good night. Thank you, Swanky. Oh, he died. Swanky, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Oh, yes. That's the mad skills. All right, where did we die? Oh, where did we die? Over here. You're playing Life in the Village 2, only just got level 5 Builder. Name Bob? Bob the Builder? Okay, so we got to take the shoes off because the shoes that we're using are in here. Iscara with another heal, thank you so much. Alright, so what do we got here? Furious. When, you, when hit, you get Furious, giving you strength and speed boost based on level. We have unbreaking. Okay, we already have unbreaking. Gloom. Chance to apply negative status effects to your enemy when hit. Nah. Multi jump. Multi jump could come in handy. Multi jump three is a bit much. Feather falling. We don't need feather falling because we've got the the bunny things on. Increases movement speed underwater.
Right, let's check about the hat now. Okay, so we got nothing that we can put on the hat just yet. Get four levels of XP. Uh, so Furious, we can add Unknown. Unbreaking? That's already got Unbreaking on it. Can't have two different types of protection. The so Fire Protection and Protection. Although we can upgrade the protection. My protection three. And maybe I should have used the mending on the um on the pickaxe. Too late now. Okay, actually what I should be doing is I should be taking all of the boots out and recycling what we can. What can we do with leather boots? Make a courier's hut, roadrunner boots. Uh, we can repair them. Ah, oh, cost two. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Don't do that. Uh, and a crushing macerator from Cyclic. We can make leather from them. And chainmail makes iron too, right? It'll turn into iron. Push all of these back through, and we'll do the gold as well. This one we will repair. The refined glowstone we'll keep, but we'll put away. Diamond boots I will repair. Uh, okay, so that's fixed. This can fix pretty quickly. Yo, hey Vluxes. How you doing? Okay, uh, chest plates. We got a lot of chest plates. One short. Now yeah, we're not one shot. Good, just woke up. Nice. Perfect timing. Okay. Furious 2. Unbreaking something. Health boost. Oh, health boost. I haven't put health boost on. When you start a stream, it's 5 a.m. for me, which sucks because I would love to watch more. Yeah, that's, it's 6 p.m. for me, when I do a stream. Yeah, now it's just, it's just about 10 p.m. Woo, 3 a.m. Breaking 3, fire protection on breaking. Section 3, Unbreaking 2, Another Furious 2, Thorns, Thorns is actually a good one, might put Thorns on, um, on my chest plate, Multi, Section 3, okay, I think that's everything there, Late Night Crew, okay, uh, so, let us push these through here to be processed. Right, we'll keep the diamond stuff. We 
in the Imperium. Uh, oh, I missed a golden chest plate. Oh. Yeah, got it. Okay, uh, around the corner. That guy. And we wanted to see if we can get thorns on here. Thorns 2, so that needs 8 levels. Need to watch this a bit. Yeah, no worries. Feel free. Thorns 1, Thorns 2. Well, I'm, I'm so going to mess anything up that comes to fight me now. Okay, uh, helmet. Let's get this stuff off our helmets as well. Can I just drop them in? Oh, you can just drop them in. I guess that means that you could automate this. You could have it pop in and come back out. Respiration, that's not bad. I don't have Tombstone Soulbound that I could, um, I could have myself respawn with my same gear on all the time. Right, now we process this stuff. Okay, so the boots are done, the leggings, so we've got lots of leggings, we'll take all this out, we'll process them as well. Upgrade that furnace, uh, okay, furnace, I'm gonna go gold to diamond, probably that. We go. Oh, we might be able to do that one as well. Yes, we can. All right, let's make this even faster. Boop. Okay, so we're not getting a massive return on our investment in there, but that is fine. It's fine. It's better than them taking up storage space. Peach jelly, yum. Oh. It was it too delicious. Okay, uh, so that quest is done. 50 levels. Put them away. And we'll grab whatever comes out of here. What was that? Dev.meteorite placer. That feels like something that I probably shouldn't have gotten out of a quest reward. Oh no. That's my whole base gone. Okay, so as a quest reward, I got this. I tried to put it in my storage system, and it placed a meteorite. 
and it's destroyed my base. That, that's where my base used to be. Yeah. Okay, um, well we're back. If you if you get this item, don't try to just place it in your um, in your chest inventory. That is a bad idea. That's a real bad idea. Um, what if I just if I just kill Minecraft? What am I gonna do? Reroll, because if I'm not starting again, and I don't think I have a backup from just before this happened. What on earth did I do? All right, we're just going to kill it and just hope. Just kill it and hope. <clears throat> Did not make a backup. What about backup software? Um, no, I haven't got a backup running of this. Yeah. We'll, we'll try and launch it. What did he do? So Blues Wolf, what happened, right, is I had a quest reward that popped up, and it was just a thing that said MP, right, just a little blue thing that said MP, and when I looked at it, it said Meteorite Placer. Uh, it might do Toller Guess, I haven't had notif notifications of it, but we'll have a look at that next. Um, but it said, yeah, it said MP, Meteorite Placer, and I thought, well, I don't think that I should have this, what I'll do is I'll just put it in my storage. So I walked over to my storage interface and I right clicked on it with that in my hand and instead of opening the storage interface, it placed the meteorite. So now we're hoping that hopefully there's a backup that either that that killing it means that I'm going to roll back a little bit, which I don't think will happen. That's 10.01, that's two minutes ago. It did what meteorites do. It destroyed my, my whole world. It's not going to be here, is it? Or the meteorite is, but my base isn't. Yeah, I I didn't I didn't hit escape cuboid. I just alt F four and shut the game down. And now we're we've loaded back up and hopefully, hopefully, that. Nah. Well, that sucks. I was enjoying that. Well, don't know. The meteorite placer. I'll show you what this does. I suppose it's because he meant to be doing it as in a dead. But that's what that does, right? It digs out a hole, sticks a meteorite in it. So it removed my whole base. Which was in the middle of where that meteorite was. Oh well, it's 10 o'clock anyway. 
There's a backup, even though it wasn't saying that there was. There might be, right? There's a, the op, uh, the possibility that there isn't. There is a backup in there. I just don't think that there is. Never mind. All right. Who are we gonna raid? Jenny's up. Jenny would do. All right. We're gonna raid generic beat. Uh, never mind. Never mind. If there's a backup, then I'll be back on this on Monday. If there's not. Then uh, I guess we're going to have to try and find something else. All right, let's raid Generic B. Ha jump in and hang out with him for a while. If you like what you see and you are not following, please do hit the follow button. Um, I'll be back not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow. Maybe in a new pack, I guess we'll find out. Um, but uh, yeah, until then, everybody have an excellent weekend. Enjoy the rest of your time. Um, we'll see you guys in two days. All right, cheers all. Bye now.